Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 27 to August 2nd 2018 so that being said let's go directly to the Tarot spread first <clears throat> and the first card that we do have oh by the way um, if you haven't noticed you know uh, this is the end of the summer and for that particular occasion there is a end of summer sales which uh, particularly um, manifest in if you purchase 30 minutes reading with me live reading then uh, then automatically it's 10 minutes it's added on, on your time so literally you got 40 minutes with me to uh, talk about you know your problems and in general to to make you a tarot readings regarding the questions that you do have so yeah the first position here represents the uh, topic of the week second position will represent the core of the situation for you we have third position which regards to the uh, challenges you have to overcome and the last position here represents the guidance that it is rather advisable to follow so let's see what you do have for the topic here this is going to be the emperor card so the emperor card shows that this particular week you have to really be at your um at your supreme state uh in a sense of that you have to give the most out of you because a lot will be expected when we do have the emperor here it is um, as a, a topic it is time uh for you to be uh, to have really control upon all that is going on around you upon all the undertakings uh, that you are trying to push on forward <clears throat> and these undertakings will require an, an extra attention from your behalf and when we do have the emperor it is also about a responsibility it is also a about thinking um thinking more about the um the grand scheme of things rather than the minor details what i'm trying to i will try to give you an example here uh, in one of the books which i read about tarot the emperor is uh, explained like this you know one emperor does what is good for the empire and not what is good for its people you know so it's kind of there is a difference and the particular um, <clears throat> the particular example is is that if uh, a portion of the army of the emperor it's taken captive and the emperor is asked for a ransom the emperor will not agree to that ransom because this is going to uh, kind of abate the uh, integrity of the empire and it's going to abate as well you know the authority the emperor has so you have to think in a, in a grand scheme of things when we especially when we talk about career and relationship that card points that you have to stay strong there and you should not show any weakness whatsoever However, even if these even if people that you are tackling with are trying to push your buttons you should not kind of mm, uh, give yourself away um, under the pressure if you know what I mean here um, <clears throat> Because uh, when we do have the Emperor, uh, as I said, a lot will be expected from you. And especially when the Emperor stays on the prime position, Emperor always has an enemy. So there will be people who try to show you in the most negative light that you can be. All right. Uh, people which are um, not very sincere, people which are your rivals, maybe. So uh, that's why you have to be extra strong for the duration of this week and show that you really understand of what you're doing. And as well, you know, whatever actions you're about to take, you have to make them, uh, you, you have to put a, a quiet determination behind your actions. And as well, you need to show that you are ready to take on responsibility for your actions. Then the next card represents the core of the situation or why this is happening here. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, so that will be an extra busyness that you are going to experience for the duration of the week especially talking about career here <clears throat> this card points a, an unexpected opening for you to uh, exert control for you to exert and uh, kind of like uh, <clears throat> make your <clears throat> make your performance and not just only your performance guys but your presence as well supreme so this kind of couple of cards alone gives a, a very favorable prerequisites one to chase uh, promotion one to chase um, establishing <coughs> dominions 
over one relationship or over one friendship as well. The Wheel of Fortune points uh, as a core of the situation is that now your fate is it within your hands and how you are going to make a use of it, it's, uh, it depends entirely on you. All right. And the best way to do so is by, as I said, <clears throat> you know, being very responsible, being very mature as well and very calculative as well, being prone more to the big picture rather than to the minor details, thinking about what will happen at the end of the undertakings rather than what is happening right now. Then the next card here represents the challenges that you need to overcome. And this is the Eight of Wands. So, <clears throat> very similar to the uh, Wheel of Fortune and yet very different card. Now, the Eight of Wands, um, how can I place it? That, that, that card expresses the creative manifestation of our ideas. So, the fact that it is in a challenging position, it speaks that... Uh, whatever you anticipate for the duration of the week may happen a little bit off your expectations or probably the means that you do have for um, executing a certain undertakings may be slightly not enough or they may be a little bit off of what you want to execute and this is where you have to be a little bit more creative you have to improvise at that particular state so you can make the magic happen so you can show that there is nothing coming in your way you cannot take and you cannot you know finalize in a in a certain way so this particular cards here are making you a, a very fearsome competition if it comes to a career and as well into relationship um, <clears throat> into relationship reading as well uh, but the uh, but the very profound meaning of those cards speaks that you um, are likely to find yourself, you know, into a, a much better uh, into a much better standpoint that you thought that you are right now. These cards are pointing here <laughs> as if you felt that there is a, a predicament uh, following a certain undertaking of yours. Those predicaments can and should be overcome for the duration of the week uh, if you are a little bit more playful with the means that you do have at this very moment. And for sure, by looking at the cards, you know, um, not denial, but um, trying to escape the situation is not a, a way that you should uh, rely on. So that is not an option. You, as you have already taken the responsibility, you know, to uh, manifest whatever you are trying to push on forward. And the last card here represents the uh, guidance. And we talked about responsibility, nine of wands, it is all about that. It is one facing their fears of the consequences of their actions. So um, <clears throat> what I like to say for such a follow-up is that you have to call the tough shots here and uh, you need to be the one who steps on forward either into one relationship, either into one career. Now looking at these cards, maybe your partner into your relationship will feel kind of weak, hesitant, will not be able to take a conclusive decision regarding a certain undertaking. Maybe that will happen into your uh, into your career as well with the co-worker or with your boss, etc, etc. And uh, the, the strongest person uh, into your environment, it will be you, Aries and that's why you need to kind of carry on the burden of uh, the consequences of how the uh, the undertaking will, will manifest and will finalize itself moving on forward into the future but we're talking here from the negative side of the view of the situation the positive side of course is that you can make it the way you want to make it all right it's just you have to be a little bit as i said more uh <clears throat> more playful and improvisionary with, um, with your means <clears throat> and therefore when you do so uh, it seems that you will be able to establish control and dominions over your, um, over your tasks and if your tasks fails then that is on you. So let's see now what the Lenormand card has to say here. We do have the mouse, the mice, and then is the snake. 
followed by the book so guys these cards as much as I don't want to say it here they look like that you do have a hidden enemy into your environment and you're going to re uh, to find out who that is in this week <clears throat> So in um, in a cumulative meaning with the tarot cards, I does uh, what I said here about the emperor that the emperor has enemies. Emperor always has people that are trying to put them into the most negative light that the emperor possibly can be. Well, this is what uh, such an attempt will be made to watch you in a certain sense, like a negative feedback, you know, like. Um, <clears throat> like a hidden enemy who is trying to jeopardize your work into your career or that could be someone who is trying to um, really rot your relationship in a certain way but don't you worry guys you're going to find out who that person is and I do believe looking at these cards here because we do have the snake and uh, <clears throat> because the emperor sits into a uh, um, a grand position is that this is someone that is very close into your social circle so this is a person sitting there from a uh, quite some time the fact that we do have have the me the mice it speaks that he is doing it um slowly you know he's doing his surreptitious activities slowly but surely however because we do have the book here after um after the snake it does speaks that the secret is revealed so basically here that hidden enemy uh, signified by these couple of cards who is rotting you know your well-being will be finally discovered by you <clears throat> and probably you're gonna find out that you can take a uh, measures toward that person in any case so that being said Erises, this was your weekly tarot reading for <clears throat> August 27 to September 2nd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.